What's up, everybody? I'm the Burning Sky Cloud, and welcome back to the Blackwell Deception. Last episode was amazing. I got to jam out in, a, in the best club ever. And we also helped Jamie move on to the afterlife. With some smoochy smooch going on with Joey. <laughs> but let's see. Alright, we need to go talk to Lisa now. Joey, hurry up! Yeah, yeah, right, I'm coming. You know, I, I actually... While I was editing uh, the second part of this game, I started feeling bad for Penelope because, you know, Gavin used her. She... Yes? Hi, Lisa? Oh, that's you. Have you learned anything? You know, she, um... She believes full-heartedly in Gavin, and he, he used her. I... I learned something about Jamie Graham. She's dead, too. Crap. Lisa, do you know something about this? I don't know anything. Like I said, I just suspect. Don't come back unless you know more. Lisa, both of these girls are dead. Seriously, Lisa, come on. I've learned something about Gavin and Jamie. You have. Can I come in? I'll tell you all about it. Yes. Time to get to the bottom of this and mystery. And she spent all her time at that club until she died there. Her body was found in a dumpster a few streets away. Poor girl. Jamie was such a quiet, shy thing when she came in here. She put herself under so much pressure. She spent her whole life doing what was expected of her, but she couldn't decide what was right for her. The girl was paralyzed. Coming to this city with all its possibility, it made her question the point of everything. And you gave her answers? She was so determined to fail, I couldn't help her. So you sent her to Gavin? Yes, I did. I only spent this long. And the other one. And others. How many others? Oh god. I never saw them again. I never knew what happened to them. I could tell myself I wasn't doing any harm, but now that I know for sure... Why did you do it, Lisa? Was it money? Did Gavin pay you? No, it's part of the deal. If you want to operate a shop like mine, you need to make an arrangement with someone like Gavin. So it's a racket. Does that mean there are others like you? They are all like me. If you refuse, you don't last very long. I've got to leave town. This is getting too big. Not before you tell me where to find Gavin. Uh, let's hope that you don't die. You really want to do this? Even if you succeed, there are others like him. Someone has to stop Yeah, it. seriously. And that someone is you? It's certainly not going to be you, is it? I can't go to the police. There's nobody else but me. My grandfather died today. Yes. He's the only family I had left. I have nothing holding me here. I'm sorry. Spare me. I'll arrange a meeting with Gavin. But give me a few days. I need to leave the city. I don't want to be here when this goes down. Your grandfather would be so proud. Don't judge me here. I'm not brave. I'm just living. That's all any of us are doing. Agreed. We all live. Just living. This is what she calls living. She's helping us, Joey. Helping herself, more like. Don't forget, that lady's a scam artist. I haven't forgotten. She scammed three people that we know of. She tried to scam you. But she didn't, did she? Damn it, we had you Dan, on your side, you on our side, Joey. Happen? Joey. All that we went through just so she could exist. Joey. What? Ah. Uh. Talking to yourself on the street? You should know better, really. Of course, like George Lucas. Who would care? I think. Who the hell are you? You probably are wondering who I am, but I have a feeling you already know. Oh, hello, Gavin. Gavin. Smart girl. Maybe they were right about you. They? What do you oh. mean, they? You don't know, do you? No, of course you don't. There's no reason to. The truth is, we've known there was another one of you at work for some time now. We just didn't know who you were. 
It's been quite a race to see who would find you first. Someone would have found you eventually, but since you put yourself on my radar, I decided to come to you. Well, I'm here. What do you want with me? We are all fascinated by you. A channel between this world and the next. The potential is just waiting to be tapped. Oh, You're he knows about her spiritual on this. plan on using. I'm no lab rat. I don't think you've got a choice. So you'd kill me, like those girls, like Jeremy. I fed on those girls. Fed? They had all the potential in the world to be happy, but no. They wasted it, squandered it. So I channeled all that positive energy out of them and took it into myself. If they weren't using it, why shouldn't I? There are people who go out of their way to sabotage their own happiness. I merely help them. That's sick. It's kept me alive for two centuries, which is more than I can say for you. Hey. Red? Red, talk to me. Spirit guide, are you there? You're damn right I'm here. Oh, damn. She's not dead. It's just a tranquilizer. I need her alive. You don't know how lucky you are. It's a shame we can't get to know each other further. <laughs> like, you, like you would want to. Joey would deck the crap out of you. Lisa, I have a package for you. Ugh. Hey, take it easy. Ugh, I can't move. What happened? You got hit with a knockout drug. You're tied up. Don't worry, I'll get us out of here. Somehow. Oh, Joey to the rescue! Yay! I- oh, right, I can't do anything. Just a bunch of useless junk. Nothing that can help us. You doing alright? Sure, Joey, just great. I'm tied in just a chair. Just relax and keep calm. We'll find a way to get you out of here. Looks like an old closet to me. What's in the closet? Crammed to bursting point with old boxes. Just a bunch of... Yeah. What am I supposed to do? Sing to it? Sure. Just a bu More junk. Broom. Can't help us. Hi, Lisa. She's just sitting there, awaiting orders like a good little soldier. <sighs> oh, we're on the upstairs now. have to be this way, Danny. All right, what's in behind the mysterious door? Nothing interesting in there. Well, we're inside, so we can go downstairs. Looks like Gavin is using Lisa's phone. I'll see to it personally. I'm not mistaken. I'm sure of it. Who are you talking to? I've lasted this long, haven't I? Must I go over this another time? If you say so. I'm not mistaken. I'm sure of it. Looks like an urn for somebody's ashes. I understand. Not sure what- Must I go over this another time? What can I do to- I'm not mistaken, I'm sure of it. Must I go over this another time? Nothing on there, but- If you say it's so- way Just a dr- I'll see None to of it them personally. Nothing on there. If you say so. Cuckoo is... I go through the door. Oh, yeah, considering that, um... She's in the house Not now. Not sure what blowing up... Not sure what... Huh. It doesn't... It's the photo of Danny from the other room. I can't touch it. I don't think I can go outside, can I? I can't move any further. Looks like we're getting out of here together, or not at all. Alright, so what was the purpose of blowing the uh, picture into the room? I'm not sure, to be honest. I understand. Not sure what cuckoo... I told you, everything is under control. Screw you, Gavin. Why didn't you just flow up through the ceiling, you weirdo? I'm not gonna wait. You doing alright?
right? Sure, just relax. All right, so. I understand. No reaction. I'll see to it personally. I'm not mistaken. What sort I'm of sure person? Of it. Not sure what. Nothing on there. Must I go over this another time? I'll see to it personally. Wait a minute. What if I use the tie for on so, for something? Maybe old Danny boy can help. The tie won't. The tie. The tie. The tie. The tie. I love the idea, but I'm not really a hands-on kind of guy. I can't. It's the photo of. Yeah, I know. Doesn't. Wouldn't want to. Um. I love the idea. More mystic crap. Full of pseudo mystic junk. All right, Joey. If you say so. Can I use the tie on him? He's not dead. I told you. The tie everything won't... is under control. The tie. None of them. I'm not mistaken. I'm sure of it. Can I use the jet tie to choke to choke him to death? <laughs> I'll see to it. Looks personally. like Gavin is using Lisa's phone. I understand. I'll see to it personally. I think I can just get close enough. And you are absolutely sure this is the bestower? Must we go over this again? If she is, you are welcome to her. But if you are mistaken... I'm not mistaken, I'm sure of it. Then I hope you are correct. You know the havoc they cause. I told you, everything is under control. Just be discreet, is all I'm saying. I've lasted this long, haven't I? And what about Miss Tenzin? You've reported that she's been acting... erratic. Can you be sure of her loyalty? I'm not sure, to be honest. Then you understand what has to be done. I understand. Take care of it once the bestower is in custody. I'll see to it personally. Then I leave it all in your hands. Are we done? Must I go over this another time? No, I think we're done. Goodbye, then. I can't you I wouldn't even know looks like a f what is he waiting for good question if I could punch him in the teeth believe me I would all right maybe we can talk to Rosa about what we learned Doing all sure, just relax. She's just sitting. It didn't. Thanks for nothing, lady. Yeah. You had your chance. It's over. Hello? Is anybody there? Hello? Hello? Shut up. Lisa? I said shut up. I thought you wanted to help me. Things have changed. All I can do is help myself. What does he want me for? Why lock me up like this? I don't know. Apparently you're a threat to Gavin and his people. That's what you get for making waves. Yeah, well, that's what you get for, uh... For what you've done. Gavin has abilities, Lisa. He's not entirely human. At least not anymore. I don't want to know. I was happier not knowing. I just want you gone. Well, you had your chance. Let me out of here. It's too late for that. Yeah, that figures. Helping yourself. Yeah, you're good at that, aren't you? Trying to guilt me again. I learned long ago that life is too short for guilt. I should have remembered that. Why did you change your mind? Because Gavin is downstairs, and if I don't do what he says, I'm dead. Fair enough? 
Gavin is going to kill you. Really? And you know this how? You should know by now. I'm a medium. I have a spirit guide. And he overheard Gavin talking. Even if you are what you say, how do I know you aren't lying? Think about it. After what you've done, why would he leave you alive? You already know he's killed before. Yeah, that's true. I liked my job, you know? It might not have been respectable, but I was good at it. Now what am I going to do? You're never a good psychic anyway. Is there another way out? In fact, there is. There's a fire escape in my bedroom. It's the only way. Great, let's go. Lisa? She's not going to do anything. I hate to break it to you, sweetheart, but I just saw Lisa climb out the window. Damn it. Lisa's just like, wait a minute. There's a fire escape in my bedroom. I can use that to get out of here. Grab a hold of this. What are you doing? I got an idea. Just take it. Ugh. Yeah, that's not gonna work. I can't move her. Uh, Gavin dances like, where's that noise? Okay, no, no, I gotta figure out how to do that. Grab a hold. All right. I can't move. I can't. Uh, oh, I didn't mean to let go. Grab a hold of this again. All right. There's something in here. Not I sure. Not sure. Hey, careful! <laughs> it's the only way to get you free, Rosa. Didn't see the glass. Grab there. a hold of it. All right. I can't. No. Got it. Ugh! This is tougher than it looks. Almost. Freedom. Finally. Nice going. Now let's see about getting out of here. Yeah. Oh, come on. <laughs> How do you know? I'm not going to let you do this. Please. I really want us to get along. I'm going to push really, you. I'm going to kick really down the stairs. I really don't want to use this again. But I need time to decide what to do with you. You can either pass the time pleasantly, or you can pass it unconscious. Your choice. Fine. Fine. Let's talk. Wonderful. Have a seat. So, another bestower. After all this time, you have given us quite the runaround. Bestower? Is what we used to call your kind a long time ago. A bestower of eternity. Poetic, isn't it? I prefer medium. Suit yourself. Personally, it makes you sound like a steak. <laughs> and like a steak, you'll be well done, dance. <laughs> what exactly do you know about us? I know that you are a rarity, a spiritual quirk, something that was never supposed to exist, a link to the next world that has passed through the generations. Mysterious, isn't it? Maybe. Why should I believe a word you say? How many people have you killed? You insist on thinking of me as a murderer. Oh, in a if way. If I tell someone to jump off a bridge, and they do it, does that make me a killer? It is if you eat them afterward. They would have died anyway. You believe that? 
I've been alive a long time, and there are always people who go to extreme lengths to avoid their own happiness. Hmm. Well, maybe they just didn't have the right people in their life to go to, to help. And Jeremy, what about him? Yes, I do regret that one. Normally I would just refuse to talk to him, but I had my orders. We all have to answer to someone. It's a shame Lisa didn't realize that. Where is Lisa, anyway? Don't tell me you don't know. Running away like that, such a mistake. Some people just can't ignore their basic instinct for survival. Not that I can relate, of course. Did you kill her? She was trying to escape. To betray us, that isn't allowed. I see. She didn't. Remember that. I have nothing more to say. Amicable silence it is, then. So... This is pretty much dead. Uh, I feel sad for this then. Hmm, interesting. Spirit guide. Was that you? Roar your mighty wind all you like. It won't make a bit of difference. It leads back. What can I do to stop this guy? He's crazy as hell. Oh, hello there. It's Lisa. I didn't see you come in. Please take a seat. Poor Lisa. Lisa? Is that you? Yes, I am Mrs. Tenzin. Please take a seat. What are you doing here? I'm glad you asked. Yeah? I work with life energy mostly. Everything we do in our daily lives creates positive and negative energy. Yeah, I've heard this speech already. Positive energy keeps your spirit alive and healthy, while negative energy blocks it. And you are full of negative yeah, energy. Yeah, I know. Think of it like exercise for the soul, just like we have to go through this again. Body, you also need to maintain a healthy spirit. Jesus, she's given the same spiel so many times, she's even saying it in death. I can tell your spirit is weak and could use my services. Weak spirit? I am a spirit lady and so are you. Yes, something indeed is blocking your spirit. It can't function and flow like it normally would. I'm functioning just fine. Can't say the same for you. <laughs> Lisa, what the hell happened to you? Last I saw you, you were hightailing it out of here. Your blockage is strong, but not insurmountable. You're gonna have to face the music soon! I can meditate soon. tonight on the problem. That way, the best course of action will be revealed to me. Look, I don't have time to pussyfoot around this. You are dead. Say no more. Huh? Being confronted with death, any death, makes you confront your own mortality. Yeah, nothing says mortality like being dead. But if you aren't careful, it can generate negative energy that damages the spirit. Look, Gavin sent me. He wants you to come with me right now. Gavin? Yeah, you know Gavin, don't you? No, I can't talk about Gavin. That's just not done. Did Gavin kill you? I don't know any Gavin. Sorry. Sure you do. Think harder. No, no, I can't talk about Gavin. That's just not done. There was a redhead in here earlier. You talked about Gavin and some girls you referred to him. No, no, I don't think so. If that happened, I don't remember it. How long ago did your memory get reset to? Look, I want to talk to you about Danny Marconi. Sorry, I don't know who you're oh, talking about. Oh, boo honky. Danny Marconi. Your grandfather? No. Sorry, I don't talk about my grandfather. That's how it all started. How what started? Please, won't you have a seat? We were talking about him earlier. Don't you remember? I have never seen you before in my life. Uh, that's because you were... Ah, uh, right, never mind. <laughs> hey, check this out. This is Danny Marconi, isn't it? I... Don't play dumb with me now. That shouldn't be in here. How well, did this it is. get in here? 
Doesn't matter. We're talking about him. He's dead. He was a weak man. Where is he? If anything made him weak, it was having family like you. He was always weak. And what makes you say that? He told my mother and me stories. Stories about when he was young. He told us about a man he once knew. A man who died to save my grandfather's life. Really? It ate away at him. The guilt. It tore his heart apart. Oh, don't apart. tell me that was Joey! The day he died, he never felt he deserved to live. That's just stupid. Every day. He told us every day. Told you what? That we weren't good enough. None of us were good enough to be worth that man's sacrifice. My grandfather spent his whole life feeling guilty. My mother, the same. But not me. Oh no, not me. Life is too short for guilt. You're right about one thing. Life can you choose the right answers here? Shorter than you'd believe. No, I made my choices. So that's what Joey. Yes, th that's what uh, Danny. Did. I will not. Was saying with my about mother. why Joey did it. Well, congratulations, you didn't. What happened on that fire escape, Lisa? Tell me. Nothing. Please. I don't want to remember. No, you don't get to die in ignorance. Not you. You're going to remember if I have to drill it into your dead skull. Fire escape. What happened? I was climbing. Then, what are you? Um. So, was it worth it, Lisa? All the schmoes you conned? All the sob stories who died? Was it worth it? Now, at the end of it all, can you look back and say, Yeah, my life was worth living. Leave me alone. Wish I could, sweetheart. But like it or not, I'm here to save you. I guess you could say old habits die hard. I need to lie down. Please come back tomorrow. Sorry, sister. I know and aware spook when I see one. You can't hide from this. No, I'm tired. So tired. And this is where she f finds out, isn't it? Red, what are you doing down here? Where's Gavin? I handled it. He won't be a problem. You handled it? Is that so surprising? Yeah, frankly. So what happened? Red? Oh. What happened? What did you do? Huh? What the hell, Red? Joey, you missed it. I didn't fall this time. Yeah, bully for you. Now what's your game? No, Joey. You don't get it. I didn't fall. I always fall through that door, but I didn't this time. It's all about mental control. Gavin was right. Gavin? Did he put you up to this? This is my own choice. I don't believe that for a second. Kid, stop and think. You got whammied. Gavin slipped you a mental mickey. You're not yourself. No. I've got a life, Joey. I need to start living it. I can't stay in the shadow of a ghost anymore. Just what exactly are you gonna do? Goodbye, Joey. Hey, get back here! Huh? What the? Hello? Red? This isn't funny. What? Hello? Anybody? So, is it done? Oh yeah, it's done. You were right. I don't think I've ever felt so... Free? Yeah. He was holding you back. Why don't you take a seat? I think we've got a lot more to discuss. What? All that time and all those spooks. Is this the thanks I get? This wasn't how it was supposed to be. No, it wasn't! Is there someone there? This wasn't how I intended the game to end! Who are you? Madeline! Madeline? Is that you? Madeline. Hmm? Oh, I see. Malone, was it? 
I suppose you arriving here was inevitable. You wouldn't be my first choice of companion, but choices are hard to come by these days. Wait, I forget. Was, my, was, was she ever mentioned? What are you doing here? Doing? What does any lost spirit do? Stare at the universe, ponder our place in it, wonder where we went wrong. What do you mean, where you went wrong? Don't you have any regrets? Maybe. Too late to worry about them now. Well, you will have plenty of time to do just that. Inevitable. What do you mean, inevitable? Your host banished you, did she not? No, that's not what happened. Did she leave you here and close the door behind her? Well, yeah, but... Then you've been banished, just like I was. She didn't want to send me here, not really. Is that so? She wasn't in her right mind. I just gotta get through to her. And how are you going to do that? It's too late. The link between you is breaking. Soon it will be gone. And then there will be a large, empty space in her head where it used to be. Then, the universe will pour in, and she will go slowly mad. It happened to my host many years ago. It will happen to yours. You should just be grateful you won't have to see it happen. Wait, are you telling me that Red is gonna end up like her? Who can say? But yes, I think so. That's not gonna happen. What is left. happening? And just what are you going to do, little ghost? Rail against the universe? Scream at her through the infinite gap between that world and this? The link is breaking. There is nothing that can be done. You said the link is breaking, so it's not broken yet. You will know when it breaks. It feels like your soul breaking in two. Huh, so maybe I'm not licked yet. Perhaps. So We're, Okay, we, we have a chance. We have a chance to get back to her. It's not a place, Malone. It's a part of both of you. Weren't you taught anything? No, nobody taught me squat. It was all learn as I go. And you've lasted this long? Fascinating. Still, you must have used the link several times before now. It's the only way to send on the lost spirits you meet. So, where's this link? As I said, it's a part of you. You must have used it several times before. It's the only way to send on the lost spirits you meet. Right. Don't go anywhere. I have no pressing engagements, believe me. Alright, good, good. We have, a, we have a chance to actually, uh... We have a chance to get back to Ra to uh, Rosa. I don't think she'd appreciate me blowing air in her face. No, I don't think so. Can I use the tie? I'm not sure how. Hey, when you say link, do you mean this? That? Don't be absurd. Look, you said the link is how we deal with the spooks. Well, we use this. You use your necktie. Oh yeah. That's what I said. It's like a, a tie is like a bridge. Come closer. Let me see. I've never seen anything like this. You what created yours? a mental projection of your link in the form of your necktie. Sure, whatever. How? I don't know. Like I said, I had no teacher. One day it just seemed like the right thing to do. And it worked. So why haven't you used it to return? I don't know how. <laughs> I've spent almost a century in this place, only reaching out to the mortal world in dreams. You have no idea what it has been like. I can show you how to traverse the lake, but only if you agree to take me with you. Sure. Why, why, why? And why should I do that? The last time we blindly trusted you, you let a killer ghost loose in New York. That killer ghost is what your precious host will become one day. Remember that. All right, let's do it. Fine, you got me over a barrel. Then take my hand. I don't remember Madeline and... Hey. Shh. Let me concentrate. Oh! That was... interesting. What is the hell is happening here? Madeline, what the hell is going on? Who is this guy? He, he's crazy, man. Now where did she go? He is feeding on her. Draining her. It's how he stays alive. Yeah, I gathered that. 
How do you know so much about Gavin all of a sudden? I think I've always known. I just chose to ignore it. But it's crystal clear to me now. Not that it matters. So, how do I stop him? Stop him? You can't. We're dead. Gavin will drain her dry, and then she'll be dead too. And then we'll all haunt this house together. That's not gonna happen. Right, just stay there. What's the point? Step out from the fringe of society. The spirits you save, who knows about them? Does anybody know you? Does anybody thank you? Maybe no. not. You toil on the behalf of ingrates. Every night, you prowl the city looking for the dead. But what can the dead offer? You have been given this gift, ah! but did you ask for it? Whatever that stuff is, it packs a punch. No way I'm getting past it. Not all gifts have to be accepted, rejected. That's it. Red, can you hear me? Hmm? Joey? Your spirit guide. He has returned? How? Yeah, I've returned. Stop listening to this guy. No, I can't talk to you. I have my own life now. Not for long, you won't. I don't know how you return, spirit guide, but she's right. You can't convince her otherwise. Think, Red. We've been cleaning up <laughs> this guy's messes for two nights. Do you want to be one of them? They wanted to live. So do I. This, this isn't the right living. You. You're wrong. I've never felt so alive. Look, you know you can't turn your back on this life. You want to end up like your aunt and grandmother? You don't know for sure that'll happen. Of course I do. I saw what happened when they tried to stop. They both ended up in the loony bin. Does one have anything to do with the other? You're just guessing. You're in the dark as much as I am. Gavin murdered Jeremy Red. You can't have forgotten that. Jeremy? I suggest you forget about Jeremy. He had years to reach out to you and never did. He never thought of you before. Why should you think of him now? That's right. Why should I care about Jeremy? Yeah, good riddance. Uh... Of course Jeremy thought about you. He had your picture. Do you keep a picture of someone you don't think about? Then why didn't he say anything before? Why didn't you? I don't know. That's good. Maybe reason. I was too busy talking to the dead to bother with the living. It's Communication a is always take is a two-way street. That's it. You made the right choice. After all, you want to live. Step out of the darkness. Look, Red, you've got to listen to me. Hmm? Joey? I told you to forget about him. Shut up, I'm talking. Yeah, Gavin. Kid, think about Jamie. Gavin turned her into something she wasn't. I'm not like her. Jamie didn't know who she was. I do. No, you don't. So, who exactly are you? I'm someone who isn't going to listen to the dead any longer. That part of my life is over. I'm entering the next chapter. Sure, if the next chapter takes place in the morgue, you don't want this. I've never wanted anything more. That's it. You step out from the fringe of society. Look, right hmm? Yeah, I told- Shut up. Think about Penelope, kid. Gavin tore her family apart. Family? What did family ever do for me? You know that death isn't the end. Your parents, your aunt, I'm trying to choose the right answer here. somewhere. That's gotta mean something, doesn't it? I have wasted too much time on the dead. I'm still here, living, breathing, alive. I need to focus on that for once. That's it. The spirits you save. Who knows? You Look, know. Red, mm -hmm. I told. Shut. I'm sure there's a right answer in here Tiffany somewhere. Red. Gavin played with her heart until it broke. Tiffany. She was weak and stupid. She was just human, Red. We're all weak and stupid sometimes. She didn't really want to live. She just gave up and wasted away. That's right. You are not a quitter. You want something, you take it. Damn it, stop twisting my words. Yes, that's right. You know I'm correct. Does anybody know you? Does anybody thank you? No. Look, hmm? I told you. Alright, so I have to remember Tiffany. You think you're any better? Yes. Not from where I'm standing, you're not. You always think the worst of me. I do, huh? Then prove it. Walk away. I can't. 
course you can. One. How? <laughs> oh, oh I picked a good answer. Rosangela, listen to me. Don't regress on me now. We've made such progress. Uh, Think about Penelope. Family. Nothing. They didn't give you a damn thing. That's right. Who needs family? You got through it on your own. Those lonely years would break most people, but not Rosa Blackwell. No, I'm still here. That's right. Bit shaken, perhaps, but not broken. She needs a good slap proud, in the kid. face I like am. this. So tell me, why are you letting a creep like Gavin tell you what to do? I'm not. Then prove it. Walk away. Ugh, my head. Come on, Red. You know what are you doing? Off about no. This. Rosangela, you are not thinking clearly. You know what you have to do. Nope. Kid, think about Jamie. I'm not like Jamie did. You know who you are? Bull. You're the most confused broad I know. You're wrong. I know exactly who I am. You're a medium. It's the only thing you're good at. Now you want to chuck it all away. I am much more than that. No. Right now, you're whatever this guy's telling you to be. That's not true. Then prove it. Walk away. Joey? That's it. Come on. Almost there. No, your spirit guide is wrong. He always has been. You need to take control over your own life. Turn away from him. Screw you, pal. Jeremy, kid, remember that Gavin killed Jeremy. Jeremy? I suggest you forget about it. He never thought of you. That's right. Yeah, maybe it's good he's dead and gone. <laughs> After all, there was no other reason for him to call you. What? Think about it. He was a successful reporter. What would you be to him? Just some crazy girl who talks to herself. Maybe I could have told him. Maybe he would have understood. Maybe you're right. Too bad we'll never know, since Gavin killed him and everything. Come on, fight this! I... am... Rosangela Blackwell, listen to my voice. No! You want to listen to me. You need to listen to me. You... In your heart, you know I am right about everything. Nah. Red? I think... You think what I tell you to think. Damn! That's better. Almost now, had it. where were we? Get. Out. Of. My. Damn! Go, Rosa! Oh! Is he... I don't think he's dead. Oh, yeah, he is dead. What? Oh, very clever. <laughs> At least he... You got me when I was feeding. I might have been unprepared, but I won't be next time. Next time? I hate to break it to you, Pally, but you're dead. Dead? No. I have energy to spare. More than enough to bring me back. Gavin? No. Oh, it's you. I didn't want it to be this way. Get out of my way, Lisa. I was scared. Maybe my grandfather was right. I said get out of my way. No, I can't. Not now. What are you gonna do to us? This Kill us? This to mean something. Get off of me! It's time to go, you two. You won't be coming back, Gavin. This place? Wait, I was never supposed to come back here. It was part of the deal. Please, send me back. I don't think that's possible. No, part of a deal? Yet. It's too soon. You don't understand if they find me here. No, wait! Give me another chance, please! What just happened? I'm not sure. I... I think I want to go home now. I'm very tired. Just head that way. That way? You're sure? Yes. Do you think it was worth it? In the end? Any of it? What's the right answer here? Damn, the, 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 this went... This went crazy. That's not for me to decide, Lisa. Well, I guess I'll have lots of time to think about it. I was so angry. I've never been so angry. And now, I'm just so tired. Go ahead, Lisa. You can rest as long as you like. Thank you. Oh, damn, that was crazy. So Gavin was dead the whole time, you okay? huh? Sure, I think so. My brain feels scrubbed raw, but I'm okay. 
And the spooks? Lisa went through. Gavin was taken. Taken? Look, I don't want to stay here. Let's get out of here. Sure. Can we burn the place down while we're at it? You wanted to come here? It's a place to go. And I need some air. Suit yourself. The stuff I said. Forget it. It never happened. No. It's all mixed up. The truth and the lies. It's all a big mess. I'm not sure who I am right now. It'll sort itself out. No, I... What's the damn point? Huh? I was weak. He got into my head. He found a loose thread in my mind and yanked it free. I should have been stronger. Stronger? The guy had to tie you up and hold you at gunpoint to get through to you. That's more than you can say for anyone else he's met. Maybe. But what's the point? What do you mean? Tiffany, Jamie, the others, none of them were happy. What brought this on? Helping Jeremy. All these ghosts. It should be fulfilling. Why do I feel so empty? Is it Gavin? Or is it me? <sighs> I wish I had answers. There was a time when I thought the same. That helping someone else would do me good. Turns out, I was wrong. Do you regret it? I don't know. Maybe. Who could say? You make your choices, whether there's a point or not. Then how's this for a choice? This organization that Gavin belongs to, they're out there, somewhere. Somewhere? I want to find them. You sure? Yes. And this is what's going to bring meaning to your existence? I need to do something, anything. I can't just react anymore. It might not be the right choice, or even a good one, but it's something. Do you understand? Yeah, I get it. And I'm with you. All the way to the end, I'm with you. Thank you. God, I could kill for a coffee. Do you think that cafe down there is open? For their sake, I hope so. Let's get out of here. After you, sweetheart. Whoa, that was one hell of a game. I really enjoyed that. I... I Damn. I'm gonna, like, I don't remember anything about Madeline. I probably missed it somewhere. I'll probably find out about it when I'm editing. But this was such an amazing game. Man, that, that, that bit with where she abandoned Joey in, in the spiritual world. That was surprising. So, let me understand something straight here. Gavin was dead, but he made a deal to come back to life to feed on the lives of people who were unhappy. Rebecca Whitaker. Abe Goldfarb. Man, <laughs> I definitely love Joey. He was amazing. <laughs> Best character in this game. Michael Gambino and Edward Barr. Julia Doolittle. And Francisco Gonzalez. Oh, uh, maybe then, maybe Rosa can catch up with Detective Durkin. Man, these voice actors, these voice, the voice actors and actresses were amazing in this game. I, this was a good, this had a really good game plot to it. You know, I. I would really love if they continued this. I honestly would. The Adventures of Rosa and Joey. Ah. Uh, but then again, maybe it's good that they end it here. Leave it to the imagination to... Oh, always coffee. Leave it to the imagination of what... Joey was shot by Ryan four times. <laughs> breaking news! Tonight's breaking story. An anonymous tip sent police to a midtown home where two dead bodies were found. Police Commissioner Alex Silva had this to say. I want to send a very public message to the ones who did this. This isn't something we tolerate. Not in this city and not under my watch. 
So whoever you are, let's get one thing straight. We will find you. It's only a matter of time. Whoa. Holy damn, the game just exited out. Is that Was that supposed to happen? Well, enjoy the black screen and my voice for the rest of the episode. Um, so, we may not be the hero you deserve, but we're the hero that you need. <laughs> Damn. Well, I guess that's it. Uh, I didn't expect the game to just shut down like that. <sighs> but anyway, thank you everyone so much for watching. If you enjoyed this game series, please like, comment, and share. And don't forget to subscribe to see more in the future. And I'll catch you later. Also, as a side note, make sure you always stay off Ryan's rap, uh, yacht. Otherwise, he'll shoot you.